welcome to ssc college of arts and commerce edupedia a digital learning platform myself assistant professor komal kamra today i am going to discuss the topic customer relationship management the subject comes under third year bms semester 5 under the marketing specialization today's topic for the discussion is building customer relationships it comes under module 1 and 2 and our learning objectives why are we going to discuss this particular topic because we have certain learning goals like we have to define what customer relationship management exactly is why it is important to, to the small business as well as all different levels different sizes of business we have to discuss the importance of providing extraordinary services to certain customers not only this we have to discuss or understand how technology helps in supporting crm now other than this customer relationship management it is a strategy we have to understand what kind of strategy it is now here we go customer relationship management what is the focus what is importance a company wide business strategy designed to optimize profitability and customer satisfaction by focusing on highly defined and precise customer groups that means under crm company is defining their different customer groups and putting their best efforts to give them customized services related to products pre selling during selling and after selling now customers are very important than products it is truly said in crm changes in the processes whatever processes company is following changes in that systems and culture everything is to be observed all channels whatever channel possible channel we are getting connected to the customers via and the media involved in the marketing effort from the internet to the field sales everywhere crm is important now let us go through the benefits of crm to smaller firms it has been observed that smaller firms via crm they get economic benefits that means financially they become strong of maintaining relations with the customers with the current customers they don't want to lose the customer they may put their best efforts to gain new customers acquisition cost for new customers are high if they go for attracting promoting their products for the new customers it may be the acquisition cost may be very very high that's why smaller firms they are focusing on current customers whatever they have their customers in hand they don't want to lose their clutches lose your customers from their hand clutches long time customers spend more money than new ones it is observed by smaller firms that those who are our regular customers long term customers they are always ready to pay more spend more because they trust us that's why current customers are being maintained happy customers refer their friends and colleagues if our current customers are being made happy by the smaller firms definitely they are going to refer our name to their friends and colleagues and relatives which is definitely going to enhance our sales now other than these economic benefits we have other benefits also order processing costs are lower for established customers once we establish customers we are very much comfortable and easy it it is easy for us to fetch them with what they want order processing means the time taken or the lead time time taken to take an order and fulfill it that is order processing it becomes easier and the company becomes habitual used to give the similar recurrent services to the current or permanent customers current customers are willing to pay more for the products current customers they believe in us that's why they pay they are ready to pay more now there are various sources of the next sale there may be we may have two types of customers after we offer them sales goods as well as services after that post sale services now if our current customers are happy happy customers satisfied customers definitely they will pay more to buy the products and they will refer our name to their friends colleagues and in their social groups if our customers are not happy if a particular percentage out of our current customers when they are not happy they are not satisfied what will they do 
they will definitely move on to another another seller he may be our competitor so he'll be buying goods from a competitor next time that means we are not supposed to expect him the next time that's why it is very important for the smaller firms or larger firms or any size of firm to maintain their customers and make them try to make them at least satisfied because satisfaction is the basic level customers would love to reach and what are the new customers new customers they have high acquisition cost if we go and try to trap new customers we have to spend a lot on advertisement promotion offers schemes transportation home deliveries warranties guarantees and many more things that's why new customers are called as high acquisition cost customers apart from that what are the essential materials of a successful crm program every company plans to capture their customers maintain good relationship with the customers that's why we are discussing customer relationship management now successful crm program includes two things building blocks first first block is outstanding transactional relationship with customers that is when we are offering outstanding services via transactions with the customers once we are selling and the customer is buying that means the transaction gets over but that doesn't get over really in reality it has to continue in the form of repurchase by the customer so building first block includes materials various materials like extraordinary customer service offer them what they don't expect that means more than their expectation material 2 technology support get connected with the customer via technology because today's world is based on technology we are sitting on the back of technology third material customer database maintain the records of the customers their names their special days their anniversaries their birthdays and their contact numbers their email addresses and their email and their social accounts so maintain customer database now building block number 2 it includes knowledge of customer behavior we must know how our customer will behave in which situation if we offer this how he is going to react if we offer that what will be his reaction so in this material is decision making we have to give him a clear or a space to make right decision then material 2 psychological influences we have to observe analyze what is the level of psychology how my customer or our customer perceive what do they perceive what are the sources of perception about the products and the services we are selling so second material for build, building block 2 is psychological influences because customers mostly are influenced by some psychological concepts or perceptions third material sociological influ influences it has been observed that those who are spending a lot of time in society or those who are uh, social status conscious they are influenced by other people other leaders of the society we can say the opinion makers so we have to take care of the social status social influences which are putting direct influence on the customer's mind so for this building block 1 and building block 2 are the successful crm program contents now outstanding customer relationship through outstanding extraordinary services we have to give superior service we have to satisfy our customer we have to generate positive relationships which may lead us to more and more profits now how to manage customer satisfaction there are certain key elements it's not easy to satisfy a customer even if we are providing them the, with the best of the goods and the services but it is very difficult and it is very ne necessary as well to manage customer satisfaction first element is provide the most basic benefits of the product or service that means whatever product or service you are offering it must cover all the core areas of product quality or services core means basic main offering general support services such as customer assistance give assistance to them guide them suggest them give them free home deliveries guide them while they purchase guide them after they purchase keep on communicating setting up a system to counter act customers bad experiences now it is very very challenging thing to convert service failure or goods failure into service recovery or goods recovery when a customer is having a bad experience he is not satisfied how to counter act how to face that customer how to accept that thing 
in this we have to admit our mistake second thing we have to give assurance to the customer so that his bad experience slowly and gradually gets converted into the good one delivering extraordinary services that excel in meeting customers preferences whatever customer wants give him customized don't say no to customer now extraordinary services at personal level ways to provide extraordinary services do business on first name basis what your business you are doing you must know with whom you are doing you must know the names of the customers keep in regular touch with them do not disconnect yourself get connected via any type of communication any type of media print media electronic media social media or any other media which is convenient to you and your customer find ways to help try and find ways to help to the customer sometimes companies or uh, companies hr employees must go out of the way to solve the problem personal problem of a customer that is going to add on to the sales provide customer service give him whatever services he deserves he demands and he pays for address problem promptly whatever problem is there just address it accept it understand it and then try to solve it now uh, managing customer satisfaction customer experience management whatever customer has experience how to manage that first of all we need to follow an approach that recognizes that with every interaction customers learn something about the company about the firm about the firm's products that means keep on interacting interaction is very much important having a positive experience with business becomes part of the firm's value equation getting a giving a positive experience it is definitely going to add to the firm's value now there are certain customer service strategies plans policies which are to be followed to maintain a customer satisfaction level provide an exceptional experience throughout every transaction why the customer should expect similar type of satisfaction or services every time let he be amazed and surprised being surprised by giving extraordinary and different services different experiences every time he comes make your services make your satisfaction satisfactory steps more and more impressive more and more attractive take provide sales materials that are clear and easy to understand do not give them anything which is not clear no ambiguous statements or written documents or brochures should be given let the customer be given a clear and easy understanding of the products respond promptly to the customer request and concern if a customer is in problem or he is requesting you for certain things or he is demanding you some information or he is concerned about certain thing just reply them promptly timely replies and help counts next is evaluating a firm's customer service health customer service health means how customer service department and customer service oriented employees are giving a healthy or creating a healthy environment customer service strategies listen to the customers respond accordingly listening is the best thing once we listen we understand we process and we generate solutions in the form of a feedback stand behind the products or the services do not create any mess if a product or service is got created problems just stand behind that treat customers as a family member and best friends just treat them to be your own friendly that means do not try to maintain formal relations always sometimes informal relations can give you the better business stay in the hearts of and minds of the customers you must give such services so that every customer feels like being with you now a customer consumer opinion for dealing with product or services dissatisfaction we have observed and it is not always necessary that every customer can be satisfied there may be some dissatisfaction as a result from customers in now why when how dissatisfaction occurs let us go through first is publicly what they do once customer is not happy what possibilities are there what he is going to react how he is going to react we can say the reaction on dissatisfaction first publicly take legal action against business he is very much free he is very much eligible by law that he can take an action and that to legal privately complain to the business another thing he can personal level he can come at personal level and communicate with the business the companies 
staff or the related person and complain them about what problems he has faced. Next is stop buying product or service. This is the easiest one. Most of us being customers, once we are not satisfied, we just give up. We never step into the shop. We never go personally and take efforts or we don't take, even take efforts to call them. Hardly out of 100% 100, 100 population, there may be 10 or 15% per people, those who are not uh, communicating or not giving a right feedback. Take no action. Simply, we Indians normally are little lazy bones. We take no action. We say, okay, it's done. Nah, next time I'll be careful. I'm not going to step into the shop. Publicly complain to the government agency. Privately seek redress from the business. They can go privately and take the uh, service recovery by communicating with the company's heads. Warn friends about product. Warn friends about product and services. One thing, it is easy. We may warn our friends not to buy goods or services from the firm. We are not satisfied. And the last is post a complaint online. We can go and follow an online process under which we can complain against the problem we have faced using technology to support customer relationship. We can say technology and CRM. CRM is incomplete without technology. So we are making the best use of technology for the purpose of CRM, customer relationship management. There are four uh, avenues. First of all, the CRM software, what does it give? Blocks, Wikipedia's social networking, online communities are there. Post-aid call centers are there which are making the use of technology and making calls and receiving calls of complaints from the customer side. So technology is definitely a breathing point you can say. Customer information management system. Through technology we can manage the customer's information which may lead us to what customer wants, what customer doesn't want can be known. Now how we can use a customer CRM database. Database here relates to Keeping, maintaining, generating, creating, searching, complete information about our customers and how to maintain relations. Now categories, there are certain categories for building a customer database. First is personal information. We can categorize the information about the, about the customer as personal information, demographics that is population, their size, their occupation, their income. Uh, their lifestyle, their customs, their traditions, their age, their sex, internet information, information related to internet facilities available with ourselves and with the customers, transaction data, how many transactions, who has done which transaction that is buying selling, that is very important part of CRM database, CRM can be achieved with the help of this transaction data on the basis of past records, lifestyle and psychographic data, what is the lifestyle of the customers, Profile of the past responses. Past responses means the customers who, has, who have purchased our products and their past responses were they positive, were they negative, they turn back to our product or they left our product. Complaints. Even complaints support a lot in creating a database, database customer relationship management database. Now using a CRM database. We talked on the lines of CRM database will be created, but we must know how creating an effective CRM program, how we can effectively create a CRM program versus capture relevant customer data. First of all, whatever products or services you are dealing in, you must collect information relevant to that. Do not collect bunch of information which is not relevant and capture relevant customer data and interaction across important touch points where customer is communicating with you you must know where is the area what is the main point or what may make the customer communicate with you use analyze those data to better understand customers first we have collected the data second step is always analysis and third is use those insights to improve relationships with customers whatever problems we found in the second point we are supposed to eliminate or we can say remove those need stage one we are moving on the lines of crm process first of all we have to take care of what is needed by the customer need recognition second is information search and evaluation we have to collect information we have to search that we have to sort it out we have to record it so, there is evaluative criteria and evoke set of ideas. Step 3, purchase decision. 
we must oh, there are many factors relating to purchase decisions for example various brands various competitors availability taste of season and many more things now let us move to simplified model of consumer behavior what has been observed that psychological influences sociological influences they both put an impact or a pressurize or focus on crm what is the first psychological influence need recognition information search and evaluation then purchase decision and then post purchase evaluation now understanding psychological influences on customers how to understand the psychology of customer are there starting point for all behavior need categories psychological social physiological and spiritual we have to take care of the in depth in depth situation related to psychology sociology psychology sociological and spiritual level of customers daily a seldom are seldom completely on permanently satisfied certain it is a rare case where everybody is permanently satisfied function together company and customers have to function together for the purpose of creating something which is beneficial to both understanding psychological influences on customers how psychology works with customers how it is useful to the customers and make the customers satisfied and happy one first point is perceptions perceptions play a very important role perception is what already the customer has perceived about our product or service first we have to analyze that and accordingly if the perception is positive we can move ahead and make it a strong brand positioning if the perception perception is confusing or negative we have to brainwash the customer and create a positive perception so that he moves on the decision to buy our product next is motivations we may add on or take the support for the purpose of understanding psychological influences on customers by way of motivating them there can be number of motivators product quality price communication promotion after sale service prior information guarantees warranties and many more now along with this we can understand the attitude as well the feeling knowledge opinion behavior anything which can add on to the psychological influences on purchase behavior now understanding sociological influence on customers we have observed that in society when we are a part of a social group we are being influenced by others when somebody buys one thing another person gets in attracted towards that, that product or service and they also at least try once now how to understand the sociological influence on customers on their minds one is culture culture is what is going on trends what is happening around us we are accepting that adopting that as culture in certain cases culture is influenced by tra traditions and customs next is social class there may be different social class poor class average class middle class or rich class so it depends on the class or standard of the customer how much he can buy and how much he can influence or behave on a particular product given to him opinion leader many times so few people they buy products when they are getting some opinions from the leaders of the society influencers like big personalities brand ambassadors sports personalities star personalities news personalities political personalities they create they become opinion leaders in certain cases companies while advertising they develop their opinion leaders teams like housewives if there is an ad of detergent powder definitely they are going to put a sociological impact on them by bringing a lady a housewife uh, showing that particular detergent reference groups it is very important particularly in young generation they refer to the group where they belong to accordingly they give their behaviors now there are key terms which can be memorized for crm 
एडी ट्वेंटी प्रिंसिपल एडी ट्वेंटी प्रिंसिपल मीन्स अंडरस्टैंड इफ यूर ट्वेंटी परसेंट कस्टमर आर देयर इफ दे आर सेटिस्फाइड दे आर गोइंग टू गिव यू एटी परसेंटेज ऑफ बिजनेस एटीट्यूड योर एटीट्यूड टूवर्ड्स कस्टमर्स कल्चर कस्टमर डेटा बेस कस्टमर एक्सपीरियंस मैनेजमेंट कस्टमर लाइफ टाइम वैल्यू कस्टमर रिलेशनशिप मैनेजमेंट कस्टमर सेगमेंटेशन स्ट्रेटेजी हाउ वी सेगमेंट द कस्टमर्स वैल्यूएटिव क्राइटेरिया evoke sets that is the raised sets motivations need opinion leaders perceptions perpetual categorization post purchase resonance recency frequency monetary analysis who has purchased in recent past what was the frequency of purchase reference groups to which we belong social class that is social status touch points where we can communicate with the customers transactional relationships based on the past transactions done by the customer with the company through which companies have made a lot of profit here i wind up my presentation on the topic customer relationship management thank you everybody good day